Hey everyone, uh, Lexicon here, and um, I've kind of uh, been been slacking on doing the report, which is um, ringside reports. Kind of. No, I don't want to watch that one. Thank you though. Uh, it's kind of a solo show, but um, I've come up with an idea, and there's this thing called Four in February. And Four in February is kind of like this thing where all of us have this backlog of games that we haven't beaten yet. You know, we've had uh, we have these games that we've played for you know forever, and um, you know maybe we got to the last hour of the game, we almost beat it, but we we just stop for whatever reason and so that save file is there and you just haven't gone back and, and, and beaten it yet what I want to do I do have those games and in fact I have this stack of games like that sitting right here and what I want to do is I want to go back and beat those now some of you know some of you don't but I'm I'm in the very early early stages of developing my own game with my friend Joe and um, I want to I want to play a lot of games to kind of get ideas of uh, level design and, and um, what works, what doesn't work, and I kind of want to immerse immerse myself back in those games. Now I play games all the time still, but it's usually sports games. It's usually Madden, uh, you know, the show, uh, things like that. So I wanted to get the games that are not sports games, and I want to beat them one by one, and I want to go on the report. And I want to kind of give my impressions of it. Not only my impressions of it now, but what I thought about it back then, and what I think about it uh, after I've beaten it all these years later. So I want to give you a quick glance at the stack. And uh, tilt the camera down here. And there you see it right there. Now some of you may be seeing some of these games and say, hey Lex, how, how could you have not beaten these games yet? And, um, you know, some of them I have and some of them I just want to go back and play. Um, let's go through it real quick. Uh, Borderlands 2, got this for Christmas. Started it, uh, but haven't really gotten into it yet. Not because it, uh, it's not good or anything, but just because I haven't been able to get myself into it there. You see flip it upside down there um, but yeah I definitely want to get to this played Borderlands 1 beat Borderlands 1 great game uh, with a questionable ending and uh, hopefully this one brings a better ending and um, also hopefully the class isn't much better than this too um, I might I might start out with a different character though because when I first played this I played it offline because I didn't have the internet yet so I may start a new character and go from there uh, Fallout, Brotherhood of Steel, PlayStation 2 game that came out, um, uh, 2004, Interplay trying to cash in on the Fallout series. This is a overhead shooter, top-down shooter, and, um, I played a little bit of it, and it was pretty fun. I bought this back when I bought Fallout, um, 3, actually, back in May of 2009 or something like that. Uh, they had this, um... I, I played Fallout 3, I really loved it, and I wanted to get this and Fallout 3 and, and, and anything else Fallout I could. I, I even went to Target that night and bought uh, Fallout 1, 2, and Tactics in that package, and th it really hasn't worked out on my computer. That's something I'd like to go back and, and beat too, but just not on my computer. Let me raise this up a bit so you're not just seeing the beard talk. But um, Just Cause. Uh, I bought this after playing Just Cause 2 because I really loved, you know, just the open world aspect, jumping out of planes, flying everywhere, parachuting, um, and I, I bought this, played it for a bit, it, it got a little frustrating, and I stopped playing it, and I haven't played it since, but I do want to play it, because I think there's some fun to be had here, um, and yeah, this is actually a pretty old game by today's standards, I think this game is like five years old, six, five or six years old. Mystery game. Oh, what is it? Oh, it's Halo Reach. I got this from Microsoft uh, to be a tester for the new system update. And um, all it says, let me get it out of here for you. It's just a, a regular um, <clears throat> disc here. 
but it just says, you know, don't insert this disc in non-preview console. Uh, you can't resell it, obviously, and the only way you can tell is Halo Reach is right there. Just barely says it right there. So I uh, didn't beat this. I played it. I, I previewed the um, the update that Xbox had. It worked, so I stopped playing it. I'm not a huge Halo guy, but I beat one, two, and three. So um, why not play this and beat it? Orange Box. Never, oh excuse me, never played. Uh, I don't really have the desire to play the multiplayer games. Beat it, loved it. And over here, I have not beaten this yet. And it's a lot of fun to play. It's just, I, the, there's a certain point where I just don't get past for whatever reason. Like I stop playing, then I never go back to it. So, oh, uh, here comes my son over here. So, <laughs> if you see him, don't mind him. All right, uh, Skyrim. Skyrim played. Beat. Uh, why am I bringing this into the pile? Because I, when I first played it, I just zoomed through the main quest. Because the next game I play, uh, I'm gonna show you. I played it, never beat the main quest, and uh, I really wanted to beat the main quest first and foremost, and then go back and do all the crazy stuff. So. I'm going to try to go back and enjoy that a little bit more. This, 5th uh, Anniversary Edition of Oblivion with all the DLC. Um, Why pick it in colors? I used to have the Shivering Isles DLC, and I this played really that, and it was fantastic. But this is a game I've never beaten the main quest, what? for one I reason or another. Um, mainly it's, okay. Okay. it's mainly okay. because the save, does, it, it, it would stop working. There would be a glitch that wouldn't let me progress and do this and that. So, I'm going to try to beat that. Deus Ex, a game that I did enjoy, um, got to a certain point where it was ridiculously uh, difficult and I stopped playing it. it. It was so hard that it made me just stop wanting to play. And so I want to give this another shot and try to get through it. Um, this did catch a lot of flack. And um, I remember talking to the wrestling randomness guys about it, and uh, they enjoyed it ah. first. That they got to a point too where it was just ridiculous. So almost done here. Uh, Bioshock. Well, you never, you've never beaten Bioshock. No, I haven't beaten Bioshock. I played most of it though. Uh, I enjoyed it. Uh, the thing I enjoy most about Bioshock though is the atmosphere. It really reminds me of The Shining. Shining is my favorite horror movie of all time, so uh, I'm planning on beating it. And then maybe I'll go pick up Bioshock 2 because that's pretty cheap nowadays. And last but not least, a game that I got with uh, a console. I bought the console that's to get a gift card, actually, and then resold the console and ended up making $100 on it. But, uh, but Banjo Kazooie, Nuts and Bolts. Uh, I did have fun playing it, but it was just a game that never captured my attention for more than uh, a couple playthroughs. So maybe I'll go back, and maybe I'll beat this. This is probably a little on my list. And then this, Viva Viva Pinata. I um, I played it before and I didn't care for it, but I think I'll give it another shot since it's on. You know, it's in the same package and whatnot. Blah blah blah. Okay, but that's all on my list for now. Uh, I might I may add more yeah. to the list. Up a bit more. But what I was wanting to do is, if you have game, if you're in the same boat as me, which I'm sure you are, and you want to play these games and beat these games, and there's my son Dexter. And if if you want to play these games, beat these games, and then give your impressions too, you know, feel free to do so. Hop on uh, the report with me, and we can talk about these games. Um, hopefully, you have the same drive and determination that I do. And uh, anyway. Uh, thanks for listening to me ramble, and hopefully this will be a pretty fun experience. Bye.